Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down another Sunday booster cracking, and today we've got a brand new Force of Will set out. It has finally been released. It is the 7th, and I am very excited to open this one up because it's continuing some more of the Lovecrafting themes, and there's a lot of dope-looking cards in this set, a lot of really, really cool J-Rulers, and some awesome, awesome full art, so I'm super pumped to have finally gotten these in, and I'm recording this Friday, I'm gonna edit it Saturday and get it out for you guys, cause I'm stoked for this one, so let's open it up and see if we can get some good pulls. The 7th just got released this weekend here, this Friday on the 27th, and the pre-release was last weekend. The box art looks absolutely beautiful, and the cards inside look the same, so let's crack into this thing and get my knife, my knife. I don't know much about the set so far. I'm going in pretty darn blind, which is fine by me. Gets a nice good reaction out of me when I find some card that I haven't seen yet. I have seen some, I have seen some, but not all of them. So there it is, getting all the packaging off. Our pre-release card is actually pretty dope too, so our buy box card actually, I should say. So let's take a look at that. It's kind of buried here on the left, but here's all our packs, looking pretty sick. And then let's check out this buy a box promo. Look at that guy. He is so sick. Aletto, what's his name? Electo, Unstoppable Fury. Let's pop him out right quick. Woo, there we go. Look at his artwork. It is so freaking cool. That is so sick. It looks really, really, really sweet. And man, it just, again, this theme that they've got going on in these last few clusters or this last few like sagas have been really really dope and here's how the booster packs look which we're about to dive into we've got all our cool little cards here and all our nice j rulers and demon cards and angel cards fallen angels you name it they're all in this set so let's find some all right first pack let's go and see what we can find here castle very cool what is this beatrice curse wall of terror very nice, very nice. Are we? All right, I thought I was getting out of focus there, but oh, we just skipped past. All right, we skipped past our rare, our super rare right there. Avenging Fury, which dope card that I definitely want to get in a full art. And then behind it, though, we've just got a normal foil. Looks, uh, you know, it's just some change with some fire, but, you know, I'll take it. That's fine. And then, so it looks like they actually started putting the stones at the back with the life points so they're not separating our rares anymore which is interesting they switched it up a little bit now remember this set is brand new so prices are going to be a little wonky probably on the higher side than what they normally will be once you know everything settles down these cards are sticking together holy crap all right Oh, pointy hats, camouflage. There we go. We got pointy hat again. That is our rare fallen angel of the chasm. And then we've got, oh, ho, 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 look at that boy. Holy crap. Dante fallen angel as our first J ruler. Oh, look at that full art too. That looks freaking phenomenal. Let's check out the other side here. So this is his first side. Obviously, you know, it's just like the same artwork pretty much, just a little variant, but the foiling does look excellent. Second pack in, we got a J-Ruler. Of course, we're just going to skip these last two cards now because it's just our stones, so that's fine. But let's go. Dante, Fallen Angel, first one. All right. Off to a solid start, a very solid start. So let's keep going, see what else we can find. Demon of Explosions. The big one I have seen and do want to get is Satan, the big boy himself, because the artwork is absolutely stunning. It's by the same artist that did the Dragon Lord Ragnarok from the previous sets. Some beautiful artwork that guy has, so I'm excited for that. I'm showing the, not showing the rare, Demon of Pride and Greed, but let's go ahead and look at the full art rare. Marching of the Dead is our full art. Very cool. Wow, look at that turtle. That's a sweet magic stone. Dope. Next up of the seventh, let's keep grinding through. We got a Prideful Mermaid, all right. Flame, Baal's Favor, Crippling Despair again, Imaginary Dagon. He looks sweet in that full art, so I wouldn't mind getting him. Our super rare is the fourth boon, Last Regrets, Black Tears. That's a long title. Holy cow. And Pointing Hats, a Camouflage as our normal full art. Very cool. Next up, let's go. Come on. Starting out. Oh, look at we got some Cthulhu in here again. Invisible Terror. A very good name for a card like that. Graveyard of Amadeus. Oh, I guess he died. Oops, Swarming Cthulhu right there. Haven't seen that card. That's pretty sick. Although, 
I don't know, he doesn't, he looks more like a bug and not Cthulhu in that one. Banquet Demon is our rare, very traditional looking demon guy. And ooh, this has got to be a good one. It's a super rare. Carolina's hunting a dope looking sick card. Part of the booster pack artwork looks absolutely stunning. And yeah, I know this one should have some value. Of course, when I do say that, sometimes it doesn't, but we'll see. Ooh, yeah, let's go. Come on. Scratch that pack, and there we go. There's another Cthulhu Guide to the Center of the Demonic World. Classic Hand of the Void. Bale's Master is our normal. More normals. we got Fallen Angel of Dusk. And then Bloodstone is our rare. Pretty sick looking. Behind it, we got Castle of Baal. Just a normal. Oh, well. Boom! Next! Let's go. What do you guys think of the set so far? Had, did you go to the pre-release? Have you gotten your box yet? What are you guys thinking of the cards and how have your polls been? Let me know in the comments below. So right now we've got a, oh, Marvel rare? Is this a Marvel? Yeah, MR Inferno. Look at all that text. Holy crap, that's a book right there. Behind it, we just got a normal foil full art flame of Oblivion. Next, come on now. Look at, look at that girl. She is sweet. Table manners. That is some good artwork too. Give me a full art of that. Give me a full art of this. Eh, Prideful Mermaid, I could do without. Not a huge fan of that one. Uh, definitely Imaginary Dagon, I want a full art. He'd be sweet, I'd be fine with him, I'm sure. There's our rare Sky Ruler of the Demonic World. Pretty nutso looking. That is our rare, and then we, hey, it's just the normal, but it's the Swarming Cthulhu. Again, I'm not a huge fan of how they portrayed Cthulhu in this card, but I'll take it, that's cool. Let's keep going, we're already 10 minutes into the recording on my end, so that usually means I need to speed it up a little bit. Prideful, we got the Scorching Heat. Esmina's Wrath, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then who we got? We got Gray on here. Ooh, he's pretty cool. Marvel rare. And then we got Castle of Beatrice, just a normal full art. Keep it going. Let's see what's in the next one here. Baal, Cradle, Mimic Beast, a nice graveyard. Pointy hat again. Voice from the Void, normal. And then River of the Dead as our rare behind it. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Estema's Fury. Again, the cover girl from the booster packs and the cover girl from the booster box, I should say as well. Super rare, absolutely stunning full art. Gotta be worth some value here. That looks absolutely crazy. Really, really, really sweet. That is so sick. I feel like we're hitting a lot of really good cards, so I am excited to see where these prices are gonna be landing. All right, Prideful, we got Baal again, Fallen Angel. And then Unholy Adam, oh, 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 we showed it. We keep doing that. Holy Adam is our rare, but behind it, we got Choir of the Fallen Angels, which is a rare full art as well. Pretty nice looking artwork, I'll be honest. And I like the depth it's got going on with how they did it in perspective. Choir of Fallen Angels, pretty sweet looking card. Taking some packs from the lucky left side. Oh, the good old lucky left side. Let's get treated with some beautiful cards. We've got Cradle to the Grave. Carolina's Storm is our rare, and then, or Carolina, however you want to say it, and then Gate in the center of the Dimension World as our rare full art. Ooh, this one might have a few bucks. Normally I would say it doesn't, but I have a feeling this one might. We'll see. Keep it coming. Let's go. Come on. Let's keep grinding through these packs. Silent. What, 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 what? Can't. Oh, oh, oh. We're showing these sticking together like crazy. Jealous Fury Super Rare. Look at that artwork, phenomenal looking. Looks super cool, it's like this Medusa demon type girl with antlers, I don't know, but give me the full art of that, please. Behind it, we just got a normal wall of terror though. Oh well, next up, come on. Oh, showing the back card. We don't wanna see it yet, come on. I know it's been sticking and sliding its way into the middle of the pack, just like that. See, it's just grinding together. Tears of Corruption is our rare. Let's see, we've got a super rare. There we go. That's a good one. I feel like the fourth boon, Last Regrets, Black Tears, the super long book name in a full art. I will take it. Pretty sick. Next up. Come on. We're getting through it and we're finding some cool stuff. Come on. Give me that one in a full art. It's a good one. Come on. All right. Who else are we looking for here? What else are we doing here? Persona Magic Mask is our rare though. Third boon. It's the third boon. And then we got the Sky Ruler, full art, rare. Um, yeah, we'll see if this one's worth something. I don't know, these big, like, leviathan-type creatures uh, usually don't go for a ton. I've only seen, like, one that actually had some good value in, like, all the sets, but we'll see. It is a rare, after all. Next up, come on. Let's see what's in store. 
from this final pack. Not the final pack, but I grabbed a stack from, from the lucky left side here and was hoping that we'd get some good stuff. We did get Violet, Violet Flame of the Providence Distortion as our super rare. I will take that. Violet's a pretty popular character right now, so she's got to be having some value. I know there's a lot of decks that revolve around her. Behind it, though, we got Castle of Carolina. Just a normal version. Weird artwork. Don't quite know what's going on. It's like they're on a beach, but there's just too much happening here. Next up, come in to this pack. That was way more weird sounding than I wanted it to be. <laughs> All right, we got... Um, um, <clears throat> my voice is breaking. A little bit, a little bit. It's been struggling all week. All right, I apologize. We got Beatrice's Imagination as our super rare. Lovely looking character artwork on that. Really cool design. Behind it, we've got a Stemma's Wrath. Just a normal, but a dope looking art card for it. Sweet. Kabam, kaboom. Let's keep coming no all right squirming cthulhu and then we've got our rare fallen angel of black tears as our rare cool looking artwork again on that one seventh boon amadeus the holy spear as our super rare full art pretty sick looking what's what's actually happening here oh there it is all right i see it i see the little angel shooting the beam pretty sick um hmm amadeus maybe a couple bucks but I'm gonna just say it's not worth a ton. Someone should just make a tally of how many times I get like prices wrong or guesstimates wrong on whether they actually hold value or not because sometimes I am way off, like way, way off. All right, prideful rule as our rare and behind it, the second boon, Teaka Holy Adam. We got this one, but not in the floor. Wasn't this the first like rare we pulled? I think it was, but uh, all right, we'll see what these go for. Next up, let's keep cruising. Come on now, let's go. All right, what do we got? Avatar of the Will of Amadeus as our rare, pretty sick looking card. I'll be honest, that artwork though, very nice, very nice. Behind it, we've got Fallen Angel of Black Tears as our rare full art. It looks like straight out of like an anime, like a screenshot out of an anime a little bit, doesn't it? It's got that same style to it, I guess. Next, let's go, come on. All right, keep it going. What do we got here? Oh, there's our rare. Ooh, magic stones or crystals in this case. It's imaginary Satan, magic crystal as our rare. Could have some potential value. Dope looking crystal, I'll say that for sure. Behind it, we've got Fallen Angel of the Mark Normal. But a very beautiful looking character. Got a lot going on on her back though. Next up, let's go as my voice breaks some more. You know, we're just gonna keep going for it. Graveyard again, castle. There is our hunting angel. She's got a full art. It is worth a few bucks actually for her. She's a big old angel and looks pretty baller. She's like a barbarian angel in my opinion. Looks pretty sweet and you know, better in the full art obviously, but we'll see how much just the normal goes for. Carolina's Storm as our rare full art. Looks freaking dope. Holy cow, that's got some swing to it on a full art. Jeez, look at that. Action lines everywhere, just really, really solidifies this artwork. Really nice full art, really well done. We gotta speed it up, let's go. Come on, we got demons, we got blah, we got blah, we got a pointy hat girl, we got a normal, and then we got a rare at the gate, center of the demonic world, whatever. We've gotten it, I believe. And then Erotha Bloodstone Foil Full Art. Very cool, that's gotta have some value, right? Stone, stone, stones, always good value. Next up, come on, let's get into it. Let's just skip past Cthulhu, even though I don't want to. They need to just give him a straight up Cthulhu card. We did not patch a rare. All right, good. We got Faria, Igniter of Holy Fire as our super rare. Very sweet. Again, Faria, popular character. Wasn't as popular for decks and stuff as last time. So I'm gonna guess this one's something I would guess is higher typically, but I'm gonna guess it's probably not as highly valued as I would have liked to hope. Behind it is a starving dragon normal, but sick looking dragon, that's for sure. Next up, come on. Hey, when are they gonna start bringing back uber rares or like secret artworks and stuff like that? Because I feel like they've been slacking the last few sets on that and I miss the chase in these new sets at least. I would love to see that. I showed off the last one a little bit. We can already see it's a super rare, probably pretty good, but Giant Pig is our rare. Come on, let's just go see it right now. Come on now, look at you. Osmodeus Enchantment, pretty sick looking. Wait, 
Why are your wings on your butt, bro? Why, why are your wings on your butt? That's, uh, that's an interesting choice, to say the least. Okay, wings on butt, Sam. Like, oh man, I like ruined that card by opening it a little bit. Uh, thankfully, I didn't ruin the rest of them. But yeah, okay, wings on butts. We're gonna have to look out for that on the other angels and demons. Maybe that's their thing they're doing. Like, angels have them on their shoulders and, you know, demons are opposite. So they got them on the rear end, lower. I don't know. All right, let's keep going. Decap it. Oh, wow. See, they keep sticking together. Super rare. Seventh boon. Amadeus's Holy Spirit. Just the normal version. Behind it, Castle of... Of Amadeus? Um, Amadeus? 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 Just the normal. Keep it coming. Let's go. Come on. No more sticking together, especially on that rare. They just love to do it on that last one. Oh, thought I passed it. Super rare. Okay. I saw this card and I was like, oh my gosh, this one looks so sick. Unstoppable Fury Electo. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the buy box promo alternate art you get for the bio box which I forgot that these were two different cards. I just saw the artwork, it was flabbergasted, but these are the same character, just this is the normal version, but come on. Both of the artworks looks phenomenal, and give me the full art of this, because it looks absolutely insane. All right, but we got another card behind it, actually. For some reason, I was thinking end clip there, but we actually got our foil still, and we got Baal's him, a normal, but a really cool normal. Maybe a, a, a very played normal, hopefully, in the meta. So hopefully it's worth something. We'll see. Back get it again with another pack. Let's keep it coming down the line. Oh boy, I am slurring words tonight. A Stemis Fury normal version, non-full art. We'll see how much that goes for. And then we got Fallen Angel of Dusk, which I said I wanted in the full art. Does look pretty sick. Very clean line work on this one by the artist. Well, job well done. Job well done. Next one, come on. We got the mermaid, we got the demon, we got another crazy demon, another crazy demon, a witch, and then a Dagon, an unspeakable whore, Amadeus, holy crystal, as our rare. That looks like classic border style, I like that. That's like a throwback, I feel like. All right, next one up though, ooh, super rare. We got Avenging Fury, which I did want in the full art. This one has some value, I know that all these like crazy Medusa, wigged out octopus crazy tentacle ladies they all got some value so uh very happy with this one yeah this one looks absolutely dope and that background mixed with the foiling looks phenomenal last stack of packs the box has been emptied and all the packs remain next to me to be open we've only got like i don't know six or something in there but these cards still feel like they're sticking don't show me stuff yet come on i feel like six spoon uh requiem jewel rare very cool looking artwork on that one i feel like we're due for another j ruler and hopefully this is one. Ooh, ooh, it's just a rare but holy cow is that phenomenal artwork or what is this a new artist because i don't recognize this from any of the past sets and if this is a new artist please keep them on board in upcoming sets because really really well done on those that is super cool yeah, we still need one more J-Ruler, though, so we're due for it in these last few packs. We had one at the top, and now we've got one just chilling at the bottom. They separated them pretty nicely to keep us coming back into this box to find them both. So, super rare. Olivia Sky Splitting Thunderbolt. Pretty sick. Behind it, Attendant of Osmodeus. Ooh, sick. Hard to get in a floor, though. Bang. Ooh, sweet-looking Ghost Rider Demon. J Rula, J Rula, where are you at? We've only got four packs left and we need to find you ASAP. All right, Cthulhu, and then we've got Amadeus Demon as a rare, pretty sick looking demon. That's some creepy stuff going on there. Behind it, we've got our oh, Marvel Rare, Marvel Rare, Mar Marvel Rare. Uh, what is it? Rebel Against Satan, Rebel Against Satan, Versailles, not our J Rula though. He's an interesting character. He's kind of cool. He's got a very, like, classic main character anime vibe to him. So, all right, I'll take it, though. Hopefully, he's got some good value. Next up, let's go. Come on. We got the Wall of Terror. Keeps feeling like cards are sticking together, but they're not. A Stemma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, super rare. Carolina's Hunting again. That's pretty sick. Just the regular version. Behind it. Phantasmal Friend. Normal. But dang, that Cthulhu. Ooh, that's cool artwork. I like it. We only got three packs left, and our J Ruler has yet to be found. He's hiding in one of these three packs, or she. Come on, let's do it. Next one. 
We gotta find our J Ruler. Don't tell me they cut dat cut back on J Rulers and you can only get one per box now. That would kind of suck. Come on, you gotta stay with two. We've got the Angel of False Life again, which is our dope looking card. Just the normal version behind it. There we go. There we go. Yes. Osmodeus or Amadeus. Is it just Amadeus? Osmodeus? Yeah, whatever. I don't, I don't care. There's our J Ruler. He's worth some money. So I will take it. Pretty sick looking guy. He's got some vibes going on to him, you know? He just out here chilling. And then, you know, he's out here chilling again with the same artwork, but you know, just a little fiery, a little bit more fiery, but it's cool. He's gotta be like a 30 buck or 25 at the very lowest, I guess, at this point for sure. He's gotta be at like three bucks, 30 bucks, but very cool. All right, we found our last J Ruler and we still got two more packs. So let's see what else is in these suckers. Next, second to last. So let's see if we can get Another really good full art at the end. Uh, voice, there's our Dagon guy. A Stemma Cerberus as our rare. Kinda lame, it's just a Cerberus guy. And then we got Cradle of Fleeting Help. That's just a normal, that's not what we're looking for. And we're down to our last pack of the seventh from this booster box. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying. If you have, make sure to leave a like and stay tuned because I do have another box I'm planning on opening. So if you enjoyed this one, leave a comment down below. And stay tuned for another box. All right, let's get into this last one and see how it treats us here. And then I will send you guys on your merry way to go enjoy the rest of your day. But hey, if you watch this far, thank you very much. I very much appreciate it. Charlotte, inheritor of the seventh power. Sick artwork for Charlotte. That's like the first Charlotte artwork I've actually really found to be incredibly dope. That's really cool. All right, Marvel Rare, and then behind it, ah, last pack is just a normal graveyard keeper of the demonic world. I mean, he looks cool, but you know, I would have liked to have seen one more rare. You know, that would have been nice. Very quickly, some pulls of the day. To start, you know, this is my sleeper hit. I really want this one because it's so awesome to be worth some value, but I kind of think it might not be, which would be unfortunate. We got our stones. I got to put it in there because they're usually holding some value. Carolina Storm, I think might be good. We know this one's got some good value, which is nice. This character right here and anything around him, I'm thinking will be good value. So of course we've got his other card right here as well. And then a Stemus Fury, pretty popular character from what I've been seeing. So safe bet on this full art. And then Carolina something, again, people seem to like her. Don't know why, but you know, she's a cool character, I guess. And look at, she's she's got wings on her head in this one actually, which is funny. So yeah, and then of course we've got our last two J rulers, Dante, Fallen Angel, and then Amos Medeus here as our second one that we pulled. Very, very cool cards. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe. Thank you guys for helping me reach 800 subscribers. I really do appreciate it. Let's reach a thousand. That's the goal by the end of the year. So I appreciate all the support you guys can give. Stay tuned for more content. I've been doing shorts daily. And again, I've got tons of extra booster boxes of all sorts of things. Wixos, Card Fight, more Force of Will, trying to get back into some Pokemon, trying to get back into some Magic the Gathering as well since I stepped away from it. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. Keep an eye out for the second video of the seventh and stay tuned. We'll see you in the next video.